Disclaimer. Some of the footage in this video is going to be shaky and wiggly at times. It was extremely windy when I filmed this. There's just no way to keep a camera still in 30 mile an hour winds, and film stabilization only goes so far. But bear with me, I promise it's worth it. Most every time you go rail fanning, you never know what to expect, and today was no exception. When I pulled up to one of my favorite rail fanning spots, I was greeted with this. A big long string of mow equipment, and this was the last thing I expected to see. Just look at some of the crazy machines here, like this excavator on wheels. And this crazy thing with treaders. Looks like it's used to help shape the roadbed, but I could be wrong. There was also this machine that looked like a mashup between a wheel loader and an excavator. All of this equipment was here to maintain the right-of-way and help replace some track. And if we look at the rails, we can see that they're now dated 2021. Directly across from me was a group of gandy dancers installing some new road panels on a crossing. Watch the driver of this backhoe pull his vehicle onto the tracks. Now this is really neat. The backhoe operator is going to pick up some of these huge crossing panels and move them into place. Now it's time to tackle the other side. Here we get a really good shot of all the work the backhoe is doing. Watch how the crew maneuvers this big concrete slab into position. And with everything mostly in place, the backhoe operator drove his machine to a safe location. Looks dang near good as new except for that one panel in the center that's missing. Then, all the mouths started to pull onto track one to make room for a couple high rail trucks.
Remember when I said the rails got replaced? Well, the old tracks have to go somewhere. And right now, the decommissioned rails are laying beside the right-of-way taking up space. But not for long. This semi-truck and a smaller pickup truck are going to scrap them. Here comes a pickup with an oxygen torch on the back. It's going to go down the line while a gandy dancer cuts the continuous welded rail into more manageable sections. The metal box he put over the rails is to keep sparks and gobs of molten steel from flying everywhere. It's extremely windy today, and there's a very high fire danger, so safety precautions must be taken. Here we get a look inside the flame shield. When the rail was done being cut, the high rail truck came back and dropped off the crane operator. Now this was something I didn't expect to see at all. The crane operator pulled a little cart out of the bed of his truck and put it on the tracks. Finally, it was time to get down to business, going along the tracks picking up the scrap rails.
and with the rails all picked up, it was time to call it a day. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, consider checking out some other ones of mine. Till next time.